Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Walmart exclusive Star Wars The Vintage Collection Return of the Jedi ATST Driver. This is a 118 scale action figure, and this is the packaging that it comes on. On the top left, we have the 50th Lucasfilm LTD Gold logo. On the right, we have recommendations ages 4 and above. In the top center, we have the Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo, and just below that, the ATST Driver blue name peel. On the bottom right of the card, we have the Kenner logo, and we have the warning tricking has a small parts not for children under the age of three. We have some very nice artwork from the Return of the Jedi movie of an ATST in the background with the indoor forest moon. And then we have the figure on the left showing his one accessory which is a blaster on the back of the card here we have uh bc 192 uh with the star wars logo at the top we have uh three other figures or three total figures i should say that are currently available at walmart exclusive we have the indoor uh, princess leia we have papaloo which we're going to do a review for all three and of course we have the figure we're looking at now the atst driver we have the Vintage Collection logo just below the uh, ATST driver. We have the 50th Gold logo again in the center. The rest of the car is pretty much legal information, small print, and stuff that no one really cares about. Here's the UPC if that helps you find these at Walmart. Uh, found these at Walmart. They're running like $12.93 plus tax. So hopefully it helps you find it if you're looking for these. So I'll go ahead and get him out of the package and we'll take a look at it. But before they do that, I'll just go ahead and show you the cards. These are kind of thin. Very cheap. They're not very collectible in my opinion for, unfortunately for mint on the card collectors. Like a lot of this stuff here is just unsightly. This is not a very good presentation for, you know, trying to collect something on the card. You have all this nonsense on it. But let's get him out of packaging and see what he looks like. So at the bottom of the bubble, you do get this insert, which is, I believe is a lot of the same stuff on the back of the packaging. This makes me wonder why they're double, double um, providing this information when they could have made the cards a little bit better for collectability. And just put the insert in the bottom. So the figure, my first impressions when I seen on the card are pretty basic, you know, not much in the paint. I mean... It does fit the overall appearance of an ATST driver, but um, this definitely uh, seems a very bland figure. So overall, on his helmet, we have the uh, traditional ATST helmet, the groove green visor there, a uh, little gray strap, gray helmet all the way around. And no paint or nothing there. Kind of missed the mark on that one, in my opinion. They, he has a removable sh stirrups and connected to this belt here. You can remove this if you like. There shouldn't be a problem. Very small imperial logo there on his shoulder. Nothing on that side. He has a black belt, silver belt buckle, black gloves. Nothing on the legs. Black boots. We do have some skull work in the uh, in the yeah, overall uh, jumpsuit, but this this it's kind of plain. So he does have a removable helmet. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Not sure if this is a new head sculpt or if it's been reused from other of the uh, figures. It's been a while since we've had an ATST driver. So I don't remember. It's not a bad looking head sculpt. There's the helmet. So for his articulation, we have rotation 360. He can look up now. Well, maybe a tad. Down a tad. Not much side to side. Shoulders rotate 360. They will raise up about that much rotation at the elbow 360 we have bendable elbow if I can find that joint again it's 
pretty good. Um, we don't, we're not going to get 90 on this guy. We have rotation here at the end of the glove. There is no articulation in the wrist or hand at all. It's like we have some uh, ab crunch maybe. Yeah, we have an ab crunch. A little back. Some side to side. 360 rotation. He does sit really well. Really well. Look how tight his legs are. That's good. You can fit in ATSD. No problem. Um, there's no thigh rotation. You're not going to do a split on this guy, I don't think. There's no joint in the legs. Kind of like a power of force type figure. No joint at all in this entire piece here. Just to sit. Wow. Um, the overall knees, let's see here. It's very tight. Uh, it's a single jointed knee, I think. Yep. And that's all you're going to get. <laughs> that's bro. <brutal. laughs> Wonderful. Um, for his feet, 360 rotation on the ankle. There's a joint in there, but man, these are tight. I don't want to break it. These figures are so hard to find anymore. It looks like they would pivot down. There's a joint right there. For some reason, it just doesn't want to, and I don't want to force it. But that's the overall idea of the poor articulation this figure has. So we have no articulation in the wrist at all. No articulation here at the legs. Um, for a vintage figure collection figure, this is a terrible, in my opinion. Uh, were, looks like the knees rotate 360 also, but it's no excuse for that poor articulation. He does come with a blaster. Very small. Very soft plastic. It is bent right out of the packaging. <sighs> There's no case to keep it on the figure. Um, he has a trigger finger. As small as this weapon is, I can't even get it in his hand. That's what that looks like. Um, <laughs> there is definitely better, in my opinion, ATST drivers in the past that we've gotten. This is probably the probably if you want to go on like articulation, <laughs> it's just the worst besides the power of force one. But there he is. It's a new head sculpt. I'm hoping. Don't know for sure. So you can add to your collection display pieces by having another look, another character, another trooper. But you know, very disappointing. The articulation, the he's small, he's uh, thin, and uh, missing a lot of articulation in my opinion. The head doesn't move very much, but. Uh, it is what it is, what we're starting to expect. The uh, 118 scale line doesn't get much love like the Black Series. And the reason they are, and no matter what people say, is because they make more money on a 6 inch and they don't care about the collectors that have spend. You know, these come out, what, 1977? You know, started making figures. And here we are. People have collected figures since then. And getting no, no, you know, love or good attention to figures. Well, that's my opinion of the figure. Um, of course, everybody's opinions vary, but um, if you guys enjoyed this review and you look at this figure, and hopefully it helps you decide if you want to purchase this or not, or add him to your collection. Um, so if you do, please consider subscribing. Please like and share the video. Please hit that thumbs up for me. And as always, we'll see you in our next review.